What up? It's your boy Ryan Rob Beats. How's everybody doing? Today we're gonna be working on the um, the DTF here. Let's go. All right, like I said, we're gonna be working on a DTF here, specifically this roll. I'll show you guys what's going on. All right, so we're gonna be working on this roll, like I said. Um, looks like we got a good maybe 10 feet of roll left here. Yeah, so I guess I know you guys are asking, hey, you can still use this. I know I can, but um, from my experience, um, the, usually the last 10 feet of the roll, like this, it's not usable. Um, you see a lot of like holes or um, just the the ink and the adhesive is not sticking very well to it so usually within around that time I switch it out it's just best practice for me to do that and it just ensures that I'm getting good quality on these prints so let's go ahead and switch this up if you guys are wondering this is the Omni DTF from Omni print it is the 14 and a half inch wide roll I know I know 14 and a half so I'm gonna show you guys how this thing is how this thing works okay so if you look at we're at the back of the unit here we're at the back of the unit see that little lever here this white or not white what is this yellow <laughs> yellow lever not white um what i'd like to do is just move it to a point that it's kind of hovering so when you move this lever um the pinch roller is moved so you can release the paper as you can see there it is there it is let's go ahead and uh, take this thing out knobs here you don't loosen can you guys see what i'm doing yeah. take it out move it out and you should be able to take it out there you go now what's good about this is um you can use it to to have a lead to feed in all right so we're gonna keep this thing so we can have a lead there's the new roll Take it out of its packaging. This one's a little yellow. Hmm. I wonder if that's gonna make a difference. Anyways, all right. So gotta remember, this thing feeds in this way. So make sure the paper feeds, feeds in that way. So I like to have one side pushed up all the way, and this one I like to just squeeze it in there so I'll be flushed what I'm saying is oh, let me get you guys so this thing is flushed against the uh, the roll on both sides there it is now let's go ahead and feed this thing in so I like to move it let's get the paper off or not paper but the uh, little sticky there so what I like to do is I'll show you guys now you guys can see let me get you guys squared away now you guys can see that there's these guys here for reference keep in mind these are reference lines okay reference they're not like it has to be there it has to be up to here it's they're just reference lines okay keep that in mind i'm gonna show you why i'm gonna show you why let's get the rolls in okay now like i said you just see what I'm doing? The reference line is just for reference, okay? Um, I like to be over the line on this side of about maybe an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth to uh, an eighth of an inch overlapping. I'm gonna tell you guys the reason for that. All right, so once I figure out where I want it to go, and what I like to do is I like to push it, make sure it's taunt, the paper is taunt on both sides here. And then I close that in. And then I tighten up these knobs right here. Okay, let's go ahead and turn the printer on. All right, so it's done initializing. Now what I like to do is move the paper forward and back and I kind of take a look at where the uh, that line is that we're talking about. If it's even, 
because the paper will move from here you can see the line I don't know if you guys can see it from there but usually I check the line um, while I'm feeding it through the other thing is that I, I like to personally do is since it's a brand new roll I like to feed it all the way from here to the roll in the back because um, I also find that the first few feet meaning like you know five to like eight feet is not a usable um, not a usable uh, uh, roll or paper to use I don't know why it's like that but maybe it's just the oil of it being uh, shipped and packaged and all this stuff so I don't know it, it's just me I find it it's it's easier for me to just um, feed it in to have that lead roll I guess and then we can we can start with our print but I suggest take if you guys are doing your first roll in um, do your test make sure uh, it's covered and make sure the um, the ink is is grabbing into that paper some that transfer paper basically it's a transfer paper okay so like I said uh, what we're doing now is feeding it through I'm checking it make sure it's it's squared so the other thing is um, once we are moving it forward and back um, and once it gets to the very end on the roll if you find that your paper is moving like this doing one of those things then uh, it's not even because um, what happens is once you have this thing up and the heads moving back and forth you're gonna have a head strike um, one it could clog your um, your print head your print head and it, it'll just be a bad print so uh, make sure everything is going down as even as possible so let's go ahead and uh, feed that thing through So yeah, everything looks good as far as alignment goes. Let's go ahead and put this roll in. So for my rolls, I like to feed it from the bottom up. So let's go ahead and uh, tape this thing on here. All right, so now we got this thing taped up and ready to roll. I like to go back here and make sure that it's staying put. Alright. Looks tight. Alright, and that's it. That's how we set it up. Um, it's just more of an alignment issue. You gotta make sure that everything lines up. Yeah, everything lines up. Alright guys, well that's it. Uh, it's just us preparing for the upcoming week this up this is gonna be the last week before the holiday and um, You guys are submitting your orders, and I'm very grateful and thank you so much And yeah, we're just we're ready we're ready to go for this upcoming week, and we're gonna Have a bunch of orders coming out, so I appreciate you guys uh, for tuning in It's just another day in the shop just trying to align paper and game prep for the week I'll see you guys next one like subscribe and leave a comment below peace out